Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we're going to build a Lego creator set. This is the, it's the townhouse. So, so it's a three in one set. So it, there's three different ways that you can build this. The main way which uses most of the pieces is that big picture in the front, which is the townhouse, pet shop and cafe, all those things just in one. But I do think I might rebuild this when I've finished it, maybe into the little apartment blocks, we'll see. But it's a big set, which is really cool. We have got five, six bags, six bags, a nice big book of instructions. I'll get it out of the plastic and no stickers because creator sets do not come with stickers. So this is where the next set of instructions start. So we're starting with the first big build and there aren't a whole load of minifigures in these sets because these sets are focused around the design of the actual building or the build itself. This guy at least knows how to wear his hat properly. He, <laughs> he doesn't know how to button up his shirt properly, <laughs> but he is obviously going to be doing something in our townhouse cafe pet shop. Uh, let's see what he is doing. Oh, all right. So we're not starting with the actual building. We're starting with one of the little builds as we generally do, whereas the instructions generally tell us to. At the moment, it kind of looks like we're building a fireplace with glowing coals or maybe a barbecue. Barbecue would go nicely, maybe not in a townhouse. Barbecue on wheels. You do. Barbecues are on wheels. But we do not have a barbecue. We've got a sausage in a bun. It is a hot dog on the top of our little glowing coals there. And now it becomes crystal clear that what we are building is the hot dog van. It's a hot dog van. Look at that. We've just built a hot dog, putting the mustard on the top and the little clips and oh, sticks to actually attach this to the van down the bottom and some token greenery on the top <laughs> so you can say you've eaten some vegetables <laughs> when you had your hot dog got mustard we got tomato sauce the hot dog van is ready so he's our hot dog vendor so i don't know that he really belongs in the townhouse he can <laughs> hang out creepily outside the townhouse now we get to get started on the actual building and this is our floor plan or our floor surface area of how big the rooms inside of our apartment or the townhouse or the cafe or whatever it is uh, there's not a lot of floor space in there but it's going to be interesting to see how this build all goes together there are some technique holes on the sides which is going to be to plug things in we just put a cheese wedge in which i it's just sitting there on the floor maybe it's a mouse trap it might be a mouse trap to be a bit unfair if this is the pet shop. <laughs> It'd be a bit rough. This is not the pet shop. So we've got a little bench here and a booth. So basically a booth and we've got a stool on the other side, got a table in the middle. So this must be the cafe area, which is lovely. It's got some flowers out the front. And over here we've got uh, the cash register. So not a lot of room to pack detail in, but it's, it's detail that packs a punch, which is nice. Uh, walls happening, some windows happening too. Going to not be doing a window on the other side. That's the side that we're going to be plugging it into the other parts of the building. This is a cool way to make a light. Look at that. The light is now hanging in the middle, kind of, of the table. I've done that slightly wrong, so let's fix that. And we've got a nice big window with three and two tall windows all in there. Does that make sense? It's like line of three and a line of three in rows of two. Is that maths? <laughs> sure, that's maths. <laughs> ah, I'm almost broken trying to help my son with his maths for his home learning at the moment. There's a nice little light over the cash re register, over the, the serving area there. And we've got a door now which opens outwards. This is cool. Strange interesting way to actually connect that door in there well not interesting it's interesting for me and we've got that's actually like the front like the hood of a car generally that piece which is now the awning for the door oh it's lovely it fancies up the entryway and we've made a really nice frame too out of the gray for the windows that stack of windows the three by two stack of windows okay lining along the top with white Cool, cool way, clever way to attach all this in. Now we figure out why this door was offset. Well, it was offset so we could put the awning on it. And we've got little grill pieces on the inside of the door. And now we've got some nice smooth bits over the top and some jumper studs to attach the next floor on. And I'm loving the ornamentation around the window, a little lamp, and of course, a teeny tiny fire hydrant. And check that out, we've just got one little building done now. Uh, well, one little room for the building. This, oh, it is, it's the coffee. 
coffee cup for the sign for our door and that should actually be able to be centered there we go we could put our spare sausage in here though that looks weird so let's remove that from the coffee cup and we're up to bag number two which i'm assuming is going to be a whole nother room but isn't that cute i told you it was packed full of detail and the hot dog man is hanging out the front of the cafe trying to steal the customers before they come in. <laughs> Not that they seem to be serving very much in the, in the cafe. I don't see any actual food prepping area. Maybe we will remedy that with the next part of this build, which looks like it's going to be a next floor. It could be next to this one. It could be on top of the one we've already done. I don't know. Let's find out. I do love all the different building techniques, different textures and designs that we get to use. And the colours! Look at those pastel yellow pieces going in there! On the walls! We get to use so many different things in these creator sets because they have to be well, they have to be creative because we need to be able to break it apart and then build completely different sets out of it as well. This is a cute little balcony! Oh, I like that. That's rounded over the front. Bit of a window box happening hanging off the front of the balcony. That's super pretty. And that's also extended our floor area, our living space. Cute. Okay, more yellow walls, which I'm loving. Love the pastely peacefulness of all this yellow. Of course, yellow is my favorite color, so it always does make me happy. Some more windows. I'm not even going to pretend to be able to count them this time. But even I should be able to do this. These ones are centered with those little jumper stud pieces in the middle. And now we get to make, once again, ornamentation, cool ornamentation around the windows. Adding different textures by... By, by, by layering the cylinders and the, the bricks themselves. That's cool. This is cool. It's all very exciting. Now these should hold the windows in. That seems a little bit unsteady to me. I wonder if I've done something wrong there. Don't know. We'll check out the window in a moment. Let's put some more of these bricks together. Keep building the walls up, I think. Mm, seems to... F uh, that window seems to be on a slant. It will become clear as we come along and creating more texture just by lining that layer there on top of the wall with studs. Oh, I love this. Okay, I'm sure there's an architectural style that we're building here, but I don't know. I know almost nothing about architecture. So all I can do is appreciate it for its beauty and its cleverness. Now we've got a door which is going to go, it's going to swing inwards because there's not enough room to actually swing it outwards onto the balcony. And doesn't that white window frame look so pretty? Well, win there we go. Now that's in the right spot. Looks so pretty lined around there with the yellow. Okay, so we're putting smooth pieces along the top and the jumper studs up there. So it looks like the top might be finished. Let's see what sort of furniture is going into this currently empty room for our building. This looks like another window box. Ah, oh, this plugs in over here. That's so pretty. Now we get to see what furniture we get to go in here. And currently I am totally in the dark as to what this might be. So we'll, it will become clear. Let's go sideways. And this goes on here. And this has, this has a little calcul... No, hold on. That needs to go in there. And that, it's a microwave. It's a microwave. So we've got, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the kitchen cabinet. <laughs> I'm having trouble, a lot of trouble with the words. But look at this, there's a sink over here and stove top on the top, microwave worked into, or maybe even oven worked into down the bottom. So it's a kitchenette. Oh, cool. And there's, ah, uh, see, that's supposed to be sit back here. That's better. And there's a token little plant. I don't know what made me think I could put that in over there in situ. So token plant next to the door. And over here is... I don't know what that is. Is it? Oh, okay. We're missing the drawer fronts off. So it's a little bureau. Oh, that's really cute. So maybe that's the food preparing area for the cafe below. Or does that belong to the townhouse apartment itself? I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out as we keep building. We're up to bag number three, which has got a little kid in it without bendable legs. She looks really keen to be here, though. I'm not certain how she fits into the story. Maybe she's going to go and get a hot dog from the hot dog man. And we're going to build whatever it is that we're building <laughs> next. It <laughs> does not look like it's actually going to be a completed room. So maybe, ah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's a roof. Are we up to the roof already? Would we be putting a little, oh, it looks like an eating area. Oh, there's a menu. So there's, this is the, it's like a whole cafe 
menu thing. I thought the cafe was downstairs though. So where does this, I was assuming this was the roof, but that wouldn't really work. So there's the actual menu for the cafe. We get to build a tabletop for the table with a checkered board pattern. And there's a croissant on here. So finally we got something to serve at this cafe, <laughs> apart from buying hot dogs from the hot dog man, pretending them they made them on site. And now we get a bendy tree. A bendy tree to go here in the corner. This could still be a rooftop piece. And I love this. Look at how these, that's so simple. So they've just been plugged together like this. A few blue flowers to go onto the foliage and then we plug it into the spikes. Ah, just so like that. And it's shading this area down below. That's so sweet. Mm, I still haven't figured out where this has to actually go on our build. What's this little, oh, it's a little bird. A teeny, is it a woodpecker? I don't know that woodpeckers are that bright yellow. Are they? It's a bird. We're going with it's a bird, a buildable bird. And now we get something that's lots of white with a red, it's kind of like a snowman scarf, isn't it? Is it a snowman? Is it a sitting, is it a snow dog? It looks like a snow dog. Look, it's got little floppy ears. <laughs> I think it's just supposed to be a white dog. So it's a white dog hanging out here, in front of the cafe, put some flowers over here. Blue flowers go on this spike, and then we plug the next spike in, and we get completely different flowers growing off exactly the same bush. It's pretty. <laughs> it's not ecologically possible, really. Oh, I suppose unless it's been grafted. Now this actually, okay, so this goes down here on the bottom level. It's an extension to the cafe down the bottom. Okay, that become, that's a little more clear. So what do we have now then? Maybe this is the roof. Though, are we ready to build the roof? Does this go up any further? No, that looks like roof. Okay, so we've got some slanted edgy pieces there for our roof. Some white curler cue thingies coming off the front. Some more of these white studs lined along the side, which add the most amazing texture. Just breaks up the blockiness of all of that white brick. That's so cool. I love that. I'm really getting into the idea of texture. Texture to break up the blocks. I <laughs> don't know how I can do it in my own builds, but I'm loving doing it in the, the Lego designed builds, learning how it's all done. This here looks like maybe some of the, some of the like the moldings on the outside of the building, the ornamentation, the plaster work. This is fancy. It's fancy, it looks like a big smiling face at the moment. Oh, no, it doesn't quite so much. Over here on the sides, we've got some either albino parrots or some plaster work parrot statues. And they are decorating the top. This has got to be the top. This is the rooftop. And there's a little rooftop garden with tiny pumpkins. <laughs> I think they're tiny pumpkins. I don't know what they are. Tiny growing orange things and some scissors, which I'm going to assume, do they just get shoved in there? They just get shoved in there. They are for pruning up here in the rooftop garden. That is so sweet. There we go. Roof is installed. Those parrots look epic. Isn't it amazing how such a little thing can add so much fantastic detail and texture to a piece. I need to stop saying texture, but it's my new exciting thing. Okay, so we're halfway through the build. It actually looks like a, an acceptable build just at this capacity, like built just to this amount. Look at that. I would totally accept that as a lovely build to display on my shelf, but we are actually only halfway through. But you know I'm going to save that second half of the build for another video. The next video we're going to do the pet shop. We've done the cafe and I suppose the townhouse is still to be seen. So let's find out how it all attaches again in the next video. So now's the time to subscribe so you don't miss out on seeing that video go up. Give me a comment. Let me know. Well, tell me stuff. Just tell me stuff about your life. <laughs> tell me what you think about the build. Tell me all the things. And I'll be back with the next video very soon. You know how it works. I'll see you then. Bye.